Hello and welcome to the Gaming Chronicles. Today we will continue A10 Tank Killer 1.5. And so let's get our campaign all fired up. And we are about to conclude uh, Central Europe Mission Set 1. So we just uh, concluded Tank Killer, which was made much easier due to the fact that we had uh, successfully taken out the air base, the radar bases, all the MIGs, and wingman. Uh, but now we are back to uh, dealing with SAMs and MIGs and all of that stuff that uh, we don't really like to deal with, but uh, it's inevitably part of our job here, apparently. Alright, let's do it. So, SAM Slam. Uh, that is exactly what this is. Alright, son, this is probably going to be one of the most difficult missions of your career. Yeah, this is true. This is a very difficult mission. Uh, it requires very precise timing. More, I think, than any of the others, actually. Um, maybe not bitch busting, but very, very, it's very, very close. Um, anyway, uh, proof to be the decisive battle of the entire war. A lot of people back in the States are counting on us. You mean me. Uh... <laughs> Up until now, we've had our eastern adversaries on the roads, but they have committed their reserves in a desperate attempt to overwhelm our forces before our reinforcements arrive. Okay. Where are our reserves? <laughs> it's been surrounded with more SAMs than you can shake a stick at. Okay. So bring more tanks. Did you ever think of that? Bring more tanks? Uh, we are unable to verify this independently. And independently, our main listening post was knocked out during the last series of enemy air raids. <clears throat> You'll be completely blind. Yeah, so I had to practice this map a few times just to remember the order and the the routing, the order, just because there's a very specific um, route that you have to take. Yeah, it's true. If we can survive this attack, our adversaries will not be in a position to launch another major offensive. If we are to survive the enemy onslaught, the hostile aircraft must not be allowed to penetrate our defensive perimeter. Our chaparrals must be protected from uh, attack by enemy armor. It's M48 style, so do we. Yep. Get the Ogitobi used up in the air. Or the sky. Yeah, whatever. Such a worthless CO. Alrighty, so we are going to change our ordnance up. We do not need any of these rock eyes. Uh, we're going to throw a Durandal on there, because there is a base that we're going to be attacking. <clears throat> and so, that is it. That's what we're going to be dealing with here. Alright, let's take off. Now, if we look at our map, uh, that's all we've got initially, right? So, this is why, this is why practice of this map is required. I don't think I did. Yeah, I didn't do. Um, I didn't do my any of my practice runs being invincible and um, with unlimited ammo, just because I didn't feel that I needed to. There were a couple of tweaks that I needed to make the in my routing and and everything, uh, just so that really the, the the challenge here is not. I don't think the map itself. It's the uh, it's executing everything so that um, your friendlies don't die. Now, in now this is very fast and furious, so we are we're not going to be decreasing our throttle to go after these uh, Sams, especially the Gaskins, uh, very much at all. In fact, whenever I can, I'm going to be um, being very very low to the ground at full speed. Gotcha. And when I make my when I make my pivot turns like this, I'm going all the way down to uh, throttle of four. That way, it uh, eliminates you know any any distance at all that I am uh, going away from where I want to go. Because there are a couple of pivot turns like that that are that are pretty important time wise. Because it comes down to literally seconds uh, to like save your allies. That was close. Um, as you can see, we're flying very low. And so we have to be very mindful of our elevation uh, so that we don't accidentally, you know, blow up on the ground 
it's very easy when you're flying at you know 40 50 feet to uh, <clears throat> just dive a little bit too fast and then all of a sudden you know you've you've pot into the ground with your wing oh come on get it got it Whew, that was close that's a that that strike for strike force right there is a little bit tricky um, I usually like to engage that with speed 8 so I only decrease my speed ever so slightly so now we'll come over here now it's very important that when we're flying down here we fly through this little gap uh, down this way kinda like f following a, a kind of an invisible line and then flying parallel to this road because if we don't uh, we'll, we, we will be picked up by a MiG patrol and hit hard and there's a MiG patrol let's see uh, we don't have time, I don't think. Okay. So there's a MiG patrol to the east side of the map and a MiG patrol to the westish side of the map. And the the one to the east, I believe, has three. And the one to the west has two. I I will engage them at the very end of the mission, but not before. Uh, just because you never know what your luck with MiGs, right? You never know if your flare is going to work. Okay, Blizzing Post is back on. Now check that out. That is a lot of SAMs. Now we are eventually going to take out every target on the map except this MiG Patrol right here. This MiG Patrol um, has three MiGs and uh, that's just, that's just yeah, we have to stay away from that one uh, because we don't have three Sidewinders and we can't take them out with the Avengers. So we'll, we will eventually, at the very, very end, take out this uh, MIG combat patrol, but not until then. So we're going to come up here and take out this guy, and then um, quickly fly, fly over this mountain, take out this um, last strike force target. But the, the, but the excuse me, but the trick is uh, we have to come over the mountain, kind of kind of at an angle, and then bank kind of towards the uh, to the westish, not west westish, eastish, because otherwise the MIGs will engage. It's it's, it's a very very fine line uh, that it's it's hard to know because uh, we have to engage and I'll probably I don't know I'll pro I'll slow down to probably speed uh, throttle seven and then just take them all out with Mavericks not even going to mess with it and then immediately pivot and uh, ignore this Sam so we kind of have to pivot fly below this Sam and then come back around and then there's a where is it yeah there's a hind patrol right here that uh we're going to take out so that we can save uh tugman's task force now this is all of course we're, we're doing it all in this manner in this way to save all friendly platoons we we could just a after after this strike group that is uh down right here we've won we've actually won the battle however uh, that would be boring just to end the battle with all these juicy SAM targets on the map. So we're going to have some fun. Um, however, it, uh, it's added to the challenge that uh, they throw this Heim Patrol in here, which after you've taken out the, the Strike Force ugh, team, it, it really is of no consequence to the mission's outcome whether or not this uh, helicopter patrol takes out Tugman's task force, or, task force or not. It's just something like, oh, it's not a challenge. Do you are you good enough basically to to hit this Sam come up here hit this strike group pivot come back here and take these Sam's out and the he helicopter to save Tugman's group so anyway uh, that is our that is our plan of attack all right we need to get below this radar all right let's get up get up get up get up get up get up now, this mountain can be very dangerous because come on, I've uh, I've clipped it before and have died. <laughs> I have definitely blown up. Let's see, let's uh, come on, don't let those MIGs. One, two, three, and four. Decrease throttle and pivot. Okay, as soon as that, uh, yep, as soon as we get that message, that means we've won. So let's check our log. Um, 
this is everything that's happened. I never check my log in this mission usually. So Strike Force Two, that was the first one we got. Strike Force Four, Strike Force One, then Strike Throw Strike Strike Group Three. I'm having a problem talking tonight. <clears throat> I'm some water. Oh. And so anyway, yeah, we are we're we're done. We're good. Um, so now it's just kind of a bonus content. I right, continue flying from from here so anyway the that's why i say the, the mission itself isn't isn't very difficult it's actually very easy um it's just if you want to do all this extra stuff save all the platoons take out all the sams take out one of the mid group take out the enemy base you just uh you make it more more challenging for yourself but uh other, otherwise it's uh yeah it's a very easy mission as long as of course as long as you know where everything is uh, which which is what takes the practice. Um, I had to, I ran, I ran through it several times just to make sure that I, you know, I, I remembered where all the targets were. And okay, so I think we can slow and slow down to as soon as we see that Gaskin. Uh, we'll slow down to seven. Just because down there's there's no hurry anymore. Gotcha. And now there should be another one. We'll take out this Gaskin, and then we'll take out the helicopters. Where are you? Helicopters are very squishy, as always, to the Avenger. Boom. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's see. We could swing around this way, or we could just cut straight up. Um, let's swing back around and take out these Sams. And then we'll cut over. Let's see, Riker will take out this guy here for us. So we'll just have to worry about this guy. And then we'll swing back around, give a wide berth to the MiGs, uh, come back through this little um, range of mountains, take out the, uh, the Gophers, the base, then actually we'll swing around up here, take out this Sam first, and then this Sam by following the river back down. And by then, um, the MiG the MiG should be in just the right position. It should be actually patrolling uh, to the east and then back to, to the west towards us so that we'll be able to get a good engagement and... Um, And we should be able to uh, shoot both of the MiGs down and avoid the missiles with the flares. That's what should we should be able to do, though. <laughs> uh, okay. But yeah, the gap is very narrow when you're flying. If, if you want to fly north to south on the map through the middle, you have a very narrow gap to avoid those MiG patrols. You know, and we could technically, you know, try to uh, take out the MiGs right now, but I prefer to do it at the very end of the mission, because you never know, right? A uh, rogue missile might, you know, hit your tail fin, hit your wing, hit your fuselage. That's what, that's what I seem to, that's the kind of bad luck that seems to hit me, is like, oh, it hit our fuselage. And I, I think that it can do one of three things. One, it can, you know, do nothing. You can just absorb the hit um, without taking... Um, without taking actual damage. Two, uh, it can actually rip up the fuselage, and I think you lose your Avenger, the ability to use your Avenger, uh, which is, you know, basically, you're, you're a dead bird, uh, really. Uh, without your Avenger, you're useless as an A-10. And third is, uh, I mentioned in the previous mission, you can just blow up. So, anyway. I have... Uh, I have before had both my full wings shot off, and I, <laughs> uh, and the only reason I survived was because I quickly uh, quit mission and returned to base. You kind of wonder, you know, well, how would that work, <laughs> you know, like really, if that were to actually happen? But um, let's see. Uh, I think we can just bank immediately, but. Yeah, there's no rush. There's no rush. Riker here. 
Enemy Sam target sighted. Moving to engage. Over. Now, if you if we well, if we wouldn't have uh, engaged any of the small Sams, the SA nines, then you get a message from every one of the tank commanders saying that you know we're gonna go blow them up. But since we are taking care of all of them, uh, they don't. <laughs> so there's only one Sam that we don't uh, we don't take out just because Riker takes it out for us. Um, but that's okay. That is okay. And there's the blow there's the explosion. It was very faint. But uh, we just heard it happen. Hmm. Alright, let's get this guy. Alright, now we're gonna stay low, 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 low. Now I did learn, I think I said something, uh, I think I said in one of the earlier episodes that the uh, that the SA-13s don't care how low you are, they can still shoot you no matter what. I was wrong on that. So if you if you drop below radar, it may be, I, I don't know if it's the same as like the Gainfuls and the Gaskins, um, but I... But when I was doing my practice run of the of this map, I thought, you know what, I'm going to test to see if um, if I if I drop low, like you know where I'm at right now, you know, 75 feet or below, will will I uh, will I be able to approach a, a gopher and uh, take him out with the Avenger? Because I I wanted to be able to you know take out all the targets, and there's and there's either not enough missiles for it, or I really wasn't too keen on the idea of uh, taking out all of the SAMs with rock eyes, which you can do, which is not yeah, uh, not appealing to me, really, at all. <laughs> Since, uh, you know, it's uh, they're, they're, they're bombs, they're not missiles, and... If you want to take them out with rock eyes, then you have to break away. Uh, so, you know, you have to drop the bomb, uh, decrease throttle, break away so that you stay safe. <clears throat> oh, they're only M2 Bradleys? I did not know that. Huh. Oh, in one of my practice runs, I accidentally uh, shot one of... Is it, That's Parks Group, right? Yeah, uh, I accidentally shot one of their tanks. <laughs> uh, so, that was my bad. And I should have known better because I uh, I had I had banked and I was, you know, flying at an ang angle like this when I was taking out Strike Force 3. However, uh, I, I had the, uh, the U.S. tank platoon was within my, like, my scope where my targeting system could pick them up. Now, the targeting system, as I've mentioned, can be a little wonky, and it can just target whatever it wants, hostile or friendly, which is silly, but that just adds to the challenge, of course, of the game. That's just part of the challenge, is making sure that you're not shooting friendlies. Uh, when I was a kid, it really annoyed me to, that the targeting system picked up on friendlies, and I, I used to be terrible at killing friendlies. Uh... On um, on the, some of these missions, usually tanks. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, yep, we're uh, so we'll take out this gopher with the Avenger. So let's go ahead and yep, decrease altitude a little bit. Get down to about 120. <clears throat> you know, the M1 Abrams, uh, even in this game, it's, it's described, right, as the premier battle tank. The Abrams is an amazing tank, unmatched in its class, always has been. Uh, the, the Abrams tank has never had a, a peer, really. Well, maybe, but anyway, the, uh, the I, I, I dislike how they, they make it uh, so that the... Let's see, we have, should have one Maverick left. We're going to take out this Sam over here. So let's go ahead and slow down, slow down to five or four. Just so we can bank to the right a little bit. And then... Now we're going to speed up just a second. 
as soon as we're kind of past this base. Boom. Oops, I didn't want to press map. I wanted to rudder. Rudder and bank. Use our one rock eye. <laughs> Let's go. Got it. Okay, sweet. So now we can kind of just wheelie around and make our approach on the enemy base and take it out. More bonus targets, huh? Okay, we have one, two, and we're gonna boom. Very nice. All right, now we did immediately bank to the uh, to the left, or yeah, broke left as soon as we did that, just because we didn't want to keep flying north uh, to get within the SAM range. Uh, so as soon as, oops, we need to have this SAM. Yeah, as soon as we uh, fired off those LGBs in that Durandal, I did a break left. Now, of course, I switched to the victim camera just so we could see a blow-up really nice-like, but uh, normally I will not switch to that camera view just because I like to make sure that uh, I'm not going to be crashing into the ground. You can always look at your altitude, of course, on no matter what camera view. Uh, all of the, I think, the uh, all of the exterior camera views have your altitude. But um, I just don't like using the exterior cameras, or the floating camera, whatever it's called. And I think we're out of missiles except for our two sidewinders, right? Yeah. Okay, let's get down to below 100. Drop below radar. <clears throat> Oops, not map. A little rudder a little bit. It's the only thing, that's really the only irritant about using the keyboard. For me, anyway. I... I know that it would probably be a huge irritant to anybody who had played this game with the joystick uh, using the the rudder keys, which is right next to the to the map key. <laughs> M. It's uh, what is it? Is it is it arrow? Is it arrow or chevron? I don't know. Oh, whatever it is. Um, ooh, we need to get down. Uh, we need to decrease our speed because I think. That MIG patrol. Yeah, that MIG patrol is a little close. Okay, we're going to stay slow just for a second. Alright, now we're going to pick up our speed. We're going to break left a little bit. And now we are going to brave it all right we're gonna start hitting flares right now nice <laughs> oh we got him and we've used all of our ammo and now there's just the one make patrol left hmm. all right and to celebrate our incredible victory over all of these Sams and tanks we are going to take a victory lap and manually land the airplane. I like to do this at the end of campaigns. Totally unnecessary, but we're going to do it. Decrease speed. And approach the runway. Now if you hit, uh, like I think you can go minus 4, minus 5. And even though the um and stop even though your collision warning comes up um it won't uh, you won't you won't die anyway so that concludes sam slam let's uh end the battle that is a wrap as they say so you deserve a medal for your heroic effort on this mission you dang right i do our adversaries threw everything they had us and we stopped them cold you mean i stopped them cold <laughs> yeah you're, you're welcome our boys have managed to kick him in the pants. 
of course, he's giving me a debrief, like, with the assumption that you allowed the U.S. tank platoons to take out the, you know, the, the SA-9s and everything. Anyway, that's all we get, uh, as far as a debriefing. Like, nothing like, good job on a campaign well done, or anything like that. It's just, like, uh, expected, like, right, of a, you know, of a military. is like, you, you've had this amazing campaign, you've basically won the war by yourself, and what do you get from your CO? You deserve a gold star, sonny. Anyway, look at that. 19th Sams. Uh, 8 AFVs. Were there really that many? Dang. Um, aircraft 3. What? No. I took out... Two helicopters. Four helicopters. And two MiGs. I took out six aircraft. What was that about? But, in interestingly enough, the... Uh, I wonder if they're counting the helicopters as AFVs. I don't know, because seventy-five thousand—that's the—that's the highest score I've I've ever gotten. And when I was doing my practice runs, that's the score I got. So I don't know what this is all about. Got my airstrip and installations. Okay, whatever. Well, we won. We won the game. Look at that. That is beautiful. Five hundred forty-three thousand nine hundred seventy points. Fifty-eight tanks. Sixty Sams. Uh. Killed more Sams than anything. That's kind of funny, being it's a tank killer game. Pilot status retired. <laughs> nice. Uh, 32 AFVs, 9 trucks, uh, 4 bridges. Is that it, really? Yeah, we didn't really destroy many bridges, did we? Hmm, I didn't really think about that. 12 installations, 4 air strips, 23 aircrafts. That is a great campaign. So... Uh, that will conclude our uh, Central Europe 1. And I think this just takes us back to the main menu. So let's go ahead and just change our mission sets. And while we're here. And load. And I'm not going to fire up any missions. I just want to look at them real quick. Hog Heaven, that's fun. Uh, Wolfburg. Wolfburg's kind of like the city, only less fun. If you can even, if you can believe that. <laughs> if I re if I remember it correctly, uh, crippled bird. That one's not too bad. Um, in fact, I think that one's pretty easy. Uh, if you just, yeah, yeah, kind of have to push that one fast as well. Spearhead. I remember. I think I like that one. Deep strike. I don't remember that. I'll probably have to practice that a few times. Uh, yeah, Deep Strike, Devise, and Air Support. I don't remember those missions very well. So those last three, probably going to need to practice them quite a bit. Or at least a few times. Uh, I'm sure they'll come back to me. But Spearhead uh, and Crippled Bird, I think I like those two the best. Wolfwork, meh, whatever. Hog he oops, uh, did I hit cancel? Yeah. Um, yeah, Hog Heaven's great as well. So anyway, until our next mission will be, which will be uh, the beginning of a Central Europe 2 campaign. So long for now.